Jesus. I don't for fuck's sake. Fuck the seal. Oh, for the love of fucking God. The seal's been clubbed to death by the Japanese. What's going on, guys? So today, we're back working on the Fiesta. Another one of these little things I thought was going to be simple, but I've already checked it out once and it's not that simple. We did the indicator bulb a little while ago. I, I didn't even film because I thought I was just replacing a bulb. So this time I'm actually picking the camera up right from the start because uh, it, it's, another, it's another bulb issue. The um, reverse lights on this don't work. They just don't come on when you put the car in reverse. I thought it was going to be a case of changing a bulb again and it's, it's not. It's not the bulbs. So I've, I've actually got LEDs in there. I was going to change them for, for LEDs, but uh, it's not because I've put LEDs in it that it's not working. It's I've tested new new halogen bulbs in there and they don't work either. So it's, um, it's something else. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but we're just going to dive in and do a couple of, couple of checks and make sure it is what I think it is. I don't think it's a wiring issue as such. I think it's, I think it's going to be the switch that, that tells the lights to turn on when you put the car in reverse. So we're going to dive in and just um, see if we can like pinpoint that that's definitely what it is. Uh, so I'll just show you what it's like um, when you try and put the car in reverse, but basically the lights don't come on. Okay, so just to confirm it's not the bulbs that are causing this problem, I'm going to check the connections in the plug for the reverse lights with a multimeter and just make sure that they're they're not getting 12 volts when when the car's in reverse because you know if, if it's not getting that signal then the bulbs aren't going to turn on but it means it's not the bulbs that are, that are the problem so we check that with the multimeter and see what we can find okay so the car's in reverse so i'm just going to take a multimeter set it to dc and just check I can't measure a voltage across the, uh, the two connections up. Yeah, the car's in reverse and I'm not getting anything on the multimeter. Um, I'd like to bring you in and show you that, but I'm not sure if I've got enough hands, but I can assure you I'm, only, I'm not getting any sort of reading on the multimeter from that plug while the car's in reverse. So it's definitely not the bulb. So the car's not getting. All I was doing was just probing the terminals in there. And uh, yeah, I was just getting a zero reading on the uh, on the multimeter. So that just goes to show that it's not, not the bulbs that are the problem. It's actually the, the signal to, to the bulb to actually turn on. Now there is another little uh, check we can try just to try and i mean what we've just looked at it could be um it could just be a wiring fault or something like that it could be you know one of the wires is loose or you know there's just a bad connection but there's another thing we can check so um when you put the car let's take it out of reverse for now oh this gear change needs work um that'll be coming in a video soon as this is just so stiff um so i hope i've shown the gear stick Wait, where the hell is it? I hope I showed that then, just the way I was pointing the camera. <laughs> um, anyway, forget about that. So, um, another way of checking is this, the same switch that turns the, the light, the reverse lights on. It's the one that tells the rear windscreen wiper to turn on when you've got the front ones on and then you put the car in reverse if that makes sense. So normally, key in the ignition, so wind, front windscreen wipers are on, but the rear one, I have to, oh, how do you do it? Oh, there you go. So you, oh, um, hang on. <laughs> What's going on there? I think this thing's a bit, oh, wow. So that's a bit broke. Right, well, it's on now anyway. Just checking that actually works. I think there's something wrong with the like the tension on it. Right, let's just check where that's gonna go now. Okay, so that's happy. Let's turn 
turn all those off. Right, so what normally happens, you put your front windscreen wipers on, and then if you put the car in reverse, the rear wiper would normally come on. It senses that you're using the front ones, and then it thinks, oh, you've put the car in reverse, you wanna go backwards, but you haven't got the rear windscreen wipers on. We'll, we'll just throw that one on for you, just so you can see out the back while you're reversing, but you don't need it on constantly. I have checked that that does actually work because I've got, I don't know if you can see, the, uh, I've got the red ST behind me. Uh, that's my mate's car. And it, it's, although that's the pre-facelift, it does work on his. It doesn't look like it because it's got the facelift lights on it, but that is a, a 2005 pre-facelift. So it works in that car. When you put the front wipers on and then put the car in reverse, speaking of which, still in reverse, when you do that, it would put the uh, the rear wiper on just, just while the car's in reverse and then it would go off again when you take the car out of reverse. But that's not happening on this, so that's what makes me think it's the switch. So we're going to dive under there. I've got a replacement switch already. We're going to dive under there and change it. I don't actually know where it is. It's on the gearbox somewhere, but I believe you can just get to it from underneath the car. So my axle stands are currently busy on the Honda, but I've got another way of getting this car up in the air. Just something quite cool I'd like to show you. It's not anything particularly exciting, but I think it's cool because it's something I made. So I'll show you what that is in a second. Okay, so these are just a pair of ramps that I built a couple of years ago. They're just made out of wood. Um, I built them for my, my old Vauxhall Astra. You probably hear me talk about that car a lot. It's because I had to do a lot of work on that thing. Let's get the car up on here. Okay, so it's normally a little bit of trial and error with these things, but this is the first time ever I've got it up first time. The car, I mean, the car, Jesus. So uh, we'll jump onto the car and I'll show you where this switch is once I can find it. Okay, so jumping under the car, just so you can see roughly where we are, we're just going under the front. Jumping under here, <laughs> well, oh, it would have been ideal. See, this is why it's so easy to do services and things while you're under here. It's just, oh, oh dear. Oh, for the love of fucking God. It's not going to be easy to do a service. That is fucked. Okay, we're not going to be servicing this car anytime soon. Uh, not until we learn to weld. Um, okay, so, wait, what? Oh, for sake like it's literally so the gearbox this is the bumper the gearbox is literally there this is the switch and no wonder it doesn't even work the thing's not plugged in oh i've already ordered the sodding switch as well i don't quite i don't quite know how it goes on but like it's just unplugged you're joking it doesn't look, it doesn't look right. There's no like, I've ordered a new one. I already got a new one. Maybe I should, let me go and grab the new switch. I've gone ahead and just plugged that back on. I mean, it doesn't like, it's not the right, the right plug. But it's also not the same as the new switch that I've got. So I don't quite know what to do about that. So this is the new one. I think the sunlight will piss off. Yeah, this is the new the new switch. And it obviously isn't gonna fit in there either. 
So, um, yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. There's, there's like a change for some reason, but if we stick the car in reverse, our LED reverse lights are working. Happy days. So all that had happened is that that plug had come off, but it doesn't sit on there properly, so I can see why it's fallen off. Um, shall we uh, just see, put the front windscreen wipers on. Ooh, we're in reverse. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, so that works now. So that was fun. But I just don't understand. Well, I suppose it's just come unplugged. So, I mean, that's going to be a pretty boring video. I was hoping to actually have to change that switch. I'm not happy about the way that's just sort of sat on those two metal prongs or connections sticking out. It just doesn't, it's just going to fall off again. That's what's happening. I mean, there's no reason someone would unplug that. I really want to change that switch out for the new one, but the plug isn't right. So I'll have another look, see if maybe it's just it's something to do with the facelift version or whether I've got the wrong switch, but it's it's on the document I've got that came, like the, what do you call it, an invoice or whatever, or the receipt thing. It says Fiesta ST150. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll see if I can get a different switch with the right fitting on for what's on here or or something. Unless, it's, unless I can change the plug over, it's just two wires, so a positive and a negative. So I could just find the plug. Maybe I'll cut the plug off that red one down there, but don't tell Ash. Um, no, I'm not going to do that, obviously. So I'll see what I can do, and then we'll, I suppose, add that into this video, I guess. For now, reverse lights work, and so does a rear wiper. Okay, so it's been a few days. Um, well, actually, it's probably, probably been a few weeks um, since I was last working on the uh, reverse light switch for this. Finally got a new switch with the right connect. So, car's been in the air. I've actually brought the ramps down to my place. Um, Probably not the best idea to be jacking up on gravel, or sorry, driving the car up onto the ramps on gravel, but I've done it uh, a couple of times now. We did it with the Honda the other day when I serviced that, and um, one of my mates brought their car around and we serviced that as well, and we used these, and they were fine. So don't do it yourselves if you've got a set of these. Disclaimer, whatever you have to say. Um, but I'm doing it, so whatever. That's such a bad attitude. I'm in such a bad mood today. <laughs> but I'm going to be in a good mood because this is going to be done, hopefully. So uh, we'll jump under there and see if we can get this uh, this swapped out nice and easily. So I did read online, someone said, uh, it might have been a video, I can't remember, someone said that some uh, gearbox oil might come out. So no, my luck, it'll all come out. So I've got something, I uh, still can't do this. Yes, yeah, so just in case anything does come out of the gearbox, we've got that. Uh, looking at, well, this one is a 22 mill socket so I've got one of those it's gonna be a bit of a pig because the the plastic connector bit doesn't quite fit in it goes in at a bit of an angle but I'll just be careful I'll put it in hand tight to start with and it should be fine the rest of the way so I'll prop you up under there and uh, you can watch me get covered in gearbox fluid when it all falls out of the gearbox and I'm stuck on these until I replace it probably will be my luck but we'll see what happens let's go okay so Here's the switch, and miraculously, that little plug stayed on somehow. I haven't driven the car, the car's not insured or taxed or whatever yet, but even just moving it around my driveway, it was falling off before. Okay, so that is the same, 22 mil. Cracked loose. Place your bets, how much fluid's gonna go on me, how much is gonna be on the floor, how much is gonna be left in the gearbox. I think 90% on me, and the other 10% on the floor, and none's gonna be left in the gearbox. Oh. The next video, <laughs> repairing my gearbox, which has, um, 
crunched itself to pieces because there's no oil in it. That's what we'll go with. Not quite what I meant to say, but we'll do. So there's the old switch. It's covered in a bit of fluid. But yeah, I don't think I said it in the last video. I think what someone's done, so because the new one is a different, well, I've got the old one somewhere, which if anyone needs one, hit me up, can provide switch. I've tried listing it for sale for like, I think it was like a fiver, and then a couple of quid for postage, just on the classifieds page on Facebook. No one seemed to want it. So if one of you needs one of the, the other style, so this, I think that's what this was. So I'm guessing someone needed this, bought the one I bought, um, which is the wrong connector type and then just smash the plastic housing off it to expose those pins because the same two pins are in there and then just connected it to that. That's what I think happened. But yeah, um, like I was saying, if anyone needs the other style, so like the triangular style one, shoot me some postage or whatever, um, or arrange, I don't know, do what you want, come and pick it up, whatever, you can have it. I got a refund on it and they didn't want it back, so. But, you know, cover the postage cost and whatever, yeah, you can have it. So, is it really going to be this easy? I wonder if you can see in there, like, should I have a, ow, oh, bad idea. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, crack my head on the oil filter. No, we're not going to try and look in there, bugger it. I wanted to see if there was any oil in it. But, that's for another day. So we didn't need that. That can go before I put my hand in it. And then... I don't know how tight to do this. The other one wasn't on very tight, so. Yeah, we'll call that done. Plug the connector on. Find out it's the wrong one still. Is it? Is it just really tight? It doesn't click. See, it doesn't like click on. It seems to have gone on as far as it will go. I don't think it's coming off, but I don't know if it's actually on. Let's go chuck it in reverse and see. Oh, I think I found it. Let's have a... This plug is battered. I think the plug's at it. It's loose. I don't know if you can see, but... Like this inside part moves all over the place and it doesn't look, oh, doesn't look like it's sat happy in there. It's hard to show you really, but it's just not, I just don't think it's happy. But then it worked on the old one, so, I mean, I'm not happy with it. Oh, oh, I just pushed it, ah, never mind, it just came out because of me mucking about with this. So, I mean, it looks for all the world like that should just plug in. Like the little clippy bit, like the bit that would click in isn't clicking in. It's like it doesn't go on far enough. But it is, I believe it's right. I think it's the right part. Oh, one thing I should have checked is that they're the same length. And they are, so that's good. But... I don't know, it just doesn't click on. Okay, so I've done a little bit more digging and there's there's this little blue like seal in the plug. I'm sure you saw it before. So I've popped that out and put the plug on and then I've just checked and it, the lights come on. So it's this, because I noticed the plug was kind of like, it plug it on, it would push back on me. It's because this was getting trapped, but I mean, how I get it on there without getting it stuck again, I don't know, really. Using a little flathead screwdriver to try and get it on there, but the problem is I don't quite know where it's supposed to sit. But I feel like that's what's stopping it. Well, I plugged it back in, we'll see. No, they're still not on. So that, can, that little like seal is just getting in the way. Oh well. That seal's just not gonna get used then. Cause it doesn't work. Like, I don't know, I might have to try and find a new plug or something. Oh. 
No, okay, so it's not the seal. It just so happened that the one time I tried it without, it worked. And now it's not, so that's still not the issue. So that's fantastic. One last attempt. I've just had a dive around in the plug with a multimeter. Measuring across the sort of the two terminals, I was getting some some crazy resistance readings. And it was sort of jumping between like high and you know very minimal, which you'd expect to see from a like a complete circuit. So I think the contact might have been a bit iffy. Um, so I used some uh, electrical contact cleaner, just sprayed that in there, give it a nice spray with that, and plugged it back in without the seal, and it worked. So I might just try with the multimeter one more time. Yeah, so that's what we want, a low. But I don't think the seal was actually what was stopping it working. I think it was the fact that the contacts were um, dirty, probably corroded, like I said, because uh, we were getting in before. So we're still in reverse. Keys in. I don't, for fuck's sake. I don't. Oh, Jesus. Right, we're not having the seal the seal the seal's gone the seal's been clubbed to death by the japanese or whoever it is that hunts seals right so that's fucking back on there without the seal Ugh. gotta get border crawling on, under this car keys in let there be light all right okay so the seal is a problem as well I don't know what to do about that. I don't know, maybe I should just find another plug. I'll keep an eye out for one if someone's breaking one. I'll just say, oh, you chop the plug off for me and I'll wire it onto mine or something. So yeah, I'm not happy about it because without that seal in there, it's just going to go bad again. I suppose the only thing that's going to go bad is the, the wiring in the plug, which I think I need to replace anyway. And that switch, which was, what, like 14 pound? It's just annoying if it goes again. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just in a really bad mood now because I thought that would just be easy to finish that video off and it's actually probably been longer than the rest of me trying to do it. I'll cut it down, surely, but I think that's gonna that's just going to end it there. I'm just going to run with it like that for now because I can't be bothered to plug it, keep plugging it on and off just for it not to work and like if it's that tight, that while I'm driving it around, it'll just like work itself loose anyway. So I'll see if I can find another plug and maybe we'll come back and revisit this, but I might not bother doing anything, a video on it. It's working now. I don't really not want that seal on there. It's, it's not gonna cause a massive issue. I just like to do things properly. I don't know, it's just, just the, way I, the way I am really. But on a brighter note, if you'll pardon the pun, because we got the lights working, hey. Um, sorry, that was dreadful. I'll, I'll stop. Um, but yeah, on a brighter note, we have working... Oh, I wonder if the... Yeah, the, the wiper thing's going to work, isn't it? The wiper thing's going to work. The wiper thing's not going to work, is it? That's the front one's on. Ah, yeah, I don't know if you caught that. Come on. That was really good timing. If anyone can get me a plug intact with the blue seal that isn't a dickhead like this one, that would be very much appreciated. Um, send one my way or, you know, drop me a message and I'll, I'll buy it off you or whatever. But this video has gone on long enough. I've had enough. And so thank you very much for watching. Um, but hopefully you, if you need to do this, you've learned something. I don't know. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.